Texans fans, welcome into Texans today. I am Will Scott. Houston has made yet another signing in NFL for agency. This coming in from Aaron Wilson this afternoon. The Texans signing wide receiver Steven Sims per a league source. Wilson tweeted that, and the Texans just confirmed the news moments ago that they are bringing in another wide receiver in at Steven Sims. And this is why you subscribe, because when Texans news breaks, we're going to get you guys a video ASAP. So hit that subscribe button below. We just relaunched our Texans channel here at Chat Sports, and we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Help us get there by the end of next week. I think that's my goal. Go down and subscribe to the channel right now. Taking a look at what Sims did in Pittsburgh last season. It was his fourth year in the league. 14 receptions for 104 yards, average, averaged 7.4 yards per catch, and he had zero touchdowns last year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But what makes this an intriguing signing is uh, his return stats. He could potentially be the starting kick returner for the Texans this year. 17 returns uh, this past season in Pittsburgh, 434 yards. Uh, an average of 25 and a half. So uh, he's certainly an option to be the starting kick returner this season in Houston. Taking a look at the updated wide receiver depth chart. Now the Texans continue to bring in uh, some wide receivers here. Obviously they started out uh, signing Robert Woods uh, right before free agency began. And then they go out and they add Noah Brown. Really like that signing. He had a breakout year with the Dallas Cowboys. You trade Brandon Cook, sure, but I think this wide receiver room is actually looking better uh, than when the offseason started. I think Nico Collins is going to be huge. John Mechie is going to be back, hopefully. And then I certainly would not rule out drafting a wide receiver at number 12 overall. Uh, maybe Jordan Addison is an option there for Houston. Steven Sims is from the H, so he's coming home, uh, back to H-Town, went to Travis High School, had a fantastic career there before going and playing with the Kansas Jayhawks in college, where he had a productive college career. Uh, so Steven Sims, you got to know he's really excited about this opportunity, the fact that he gets to come home and play for the team that I'm guessing he grew up rooting for with the Houston Texans. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this signing. Uh, I want to hear from y'all down in the comments section. Uh, go down and grade the signing. Type A, B, C, D, or F down in the comments section. It is the pinned comment on today's video, so go and reply to it uh, when you get a second. I'm going to give it a B. This is a solid depth signing for Houston. I think he's going to make the team. I'm very confident in that because he has special teams value as well. Might be, depending on who you draft, depending on who else you sign, might be the fourth or fifth wide receiver on this Texans team. But what makes this signing, again, very intriguing is not only the special team's value, but the potential he showcased early in his career. Really showed a lot of potential in Washington before he went to Pittsburgh. Had 310 yards, four touchdowns in 2019, his rookie season. And then in 2020, the next year, had 265 receiving yards. Goes to Pittsburgh after that. Only plays in one game because of an injury in 2021. And then 2022, just 14 receptions. So I think he needed a fresh start. But I think in Houston, under this new offense, right, with a new rookie quarterback, maybe he'll kind of go back to those numbers that we saw in Washington when he started his career. Be sure you subscribe to the channel if you're all about the Houston Texans. We're going to continue to have you covered on all Texans news and rumors. Thank you.